By the late 1800s, much of the great American frontier was gone. In its place stood bustling towns and cities. America had become a powerful, industrialized nation. Now that the West was settled, many Americans began to look overseas for new opportunities. Some leaders in business and in government wanted to use the nation's growing military power to promote economic growth, trade, and American values overseas. The first steps came in the Pacific, where the United States annexed the Hawaiian Islands and divided the Samoan Islands with Germany. The United States also became involved in China, where it tried to convince European powers to accept its views on how to trade with that country. In 1898, Americans turned their attention toward their neighbor to the south. Many Americans wanted the United States to help the people of Cuba, who were fighting for their independence from Spain. Powerful newspaper publishers helped whip up support for American involvement. When an accidental fire aboard the USS Maine caused the battleship to explode in Spanish-controlled Cuba, the pro-war Americans took advantage of the incident. Newspapers accused Spain of setting off a mine that sank the Maine. And in April 1898, Congress declared war on Spain. During the Spanish-American War, the U.S. attacked many of Spain's colonial holdings, including Cuba and Puerto Rico in the Caribbean Sea and the Philippines in the Pacific Ocean. The press eagerly reported American victories. Especially Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders' successful charge up San Juan Hill in Cuba. The war ended in December. In the peace treaty, Spain recognized Cuba's independence and gave the United States, Puerto Rico, the Philippines, and the islands of Guam and Wake. The treaty triggered angry debate across the country. As many people felt that owning colonies went against American principles, but the expansionists prevailed, and America took control of the former Spanish colonies. In the Philippines, instead of giving the colonies their freedom, America fought Filipinos who wanted their independence. In 1901, Teddy Roosevelt, the hero of the Spanish-American War, became president. Roosevelt used the threat of force to expand American trade and influence in the world. In 1903, after Colombia refused to let the United States build a canal in Panama, Roosevelt sent American gunboats to help Panamanian rebels break away from Colombia. The newly independent Republic of Panama then signed a treaty allowing the United States the use of a 10-mile-wide strip of land to build a canal. The Panama Canal opened in August 1914. It linked the Atlantic and Pacific oceans and improved global trade. But perhaps more importantly, the canal made it easier for the powerful U.S. Navy to travel across the globe and defend America's expanding empire. In what areas of the Pacific Ocean did the United States first become involved in overseas issues? Why did some people object to the outcome of the Spanish-American War? <laughs>